What are you talking about? Okay, so uh, Don, Don's your name? Don DeMello, theatrical <laughs> director. <laughs> Don, tell, tell me a little bit about that show. It is the Christmas show here. Sure, I would love to hear. Oh, How long boy. have you been doing it? I've been doing the Christmas show now 18 years. This wow. is my 18th year directing the Christmas show. Before that, I was directing an all-nude review in Midtown for several years before that. And then... Uh, some of the girls I knew there were between 5'6 and 5'10, and that's what you got to be to be a Rockette. They graduated to the Rockettes, and I went with them. Yeah, wow, they dragged you along. Huh? Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous girls. <laughs> what is the uh, turnaround for uh, said gorgeous girls? How many years? How many years can you be a Rockette rock before rock you burn out and fade away? Oh, if you're sweet, if you stay sweet, you can stay in the show for several years. I don't see, see that happening. That? You I really stay don't see sweet. that happening. You can't what? stop making demands. You can't stop putting your foot down. You got to be real nice and sweet. Gotta be a nice girl. We're looking for nice girls. You gotta keep your body nice. <laughs> wow. You uh, gotta keep those legs <laughs> real nice. You are, oh, it's all about the legs. <laughs> you are a disgusting <laughs> the human are, being, seemingly. It's uh, uh, May I ask not how unlike old? some of my directors uh, before. Really? You, yeah, you've come is, across this, is, the casting is, couch? It is common, yeah. Oh, it's a common tale. Sure. You guys ever see the Christmas show? It's real terrific. Yeah, the girls come out and they do those high kicks and those legs are going up in the air. Beautiful, beautiful. I tried leg. to watch the Rockettes once, but the uh, kicking line induced a seizure. Oh, I'm so sorry for you. Oh, I enjoyed it, but they <laughs> asked did. me not to return. Oh, oh yeah, we can't have that. It's distracting because there's a lot of kids in the audience because they want to see the Santa Claus and the camel and the live nativity and you know that's all fine, but for the daddies out there. Oh, that was another thing. That's that, why we have the girls. The camel bit my cheek. Yeah. Oh, sure. That happens. Is that a common? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Well, you know, uh, there have been several times where the animals have attacked the baby Jesus. And we just go, I'm standing in the booth. I go, blackout. We got an animal attacking the baby Jesus. Blackout. And do they give you a blackout? Sure. They, well, they're like a hair finger on that. It happens so frequently. Yeah. They're ready for it. Never and know. is there an understudy? An understudy for what? For the baby Jesus? Yeah. Yeah, we got six or seven babies back there. Oh, really? well, that's yeah. good. A lot of babies. I mean, they've got a big budget. So Is it true that, that you yeah. coat the nativity babies in camel sugar before the show starts? Well, this has turned into an inquisition of sorts. That's never been found to be true. And why would we want the camels to eat the babies? I mean, for crying out loud. Why would you, you want that the camels to eat the babies? doesn't make for compelling theater? Well, I mean, look. Sure it does. I mean, I'll, I'll concede that. I like was at West Side Story across the street just now, and when uh, one of the dancers dropped oh, yeah. another dancer, the the jolt of electricity that ran through the audience, like they were seeing something live and real. That's yeah. what you're after. That well, was my argument you know. for when I had a seizure. I said that I could. Ra I I said, listen, I don't know if you remember this. I said, I, just about anything can give me a seizure. I can do this on demand, and I guarantee your guests a very memorable experience. I wouldn't mind that. You know what? Having a Santa Claus. If you could, if you if you looked a little more like Santa Claus. Getting you in a Santa Claus suit and having you have a seizure in front of all the children like that. Uh -huh. And then, because you know what? This is the thing. If anything goes wrong in the show, mm -hmm. we bring out the girls. <laughs> anything goes wrong, we say cue the May girls. May I ask how old those sweatpants are that you're wearing? <laughs> oh, I didn't even <laughs> notice this. Sweatpants. These are my lucky sweatpants. I wear them every Christmas season throughout the entire run of the show. I didn't realize Eight Carhartt years. made sweatpants. Yeah, these are work sweatpants. Yeah. I think those eighteen years. Those have just been. I think. I, I think they're just very soft work pants. Yeah. I think they're just certainly you wash them in the off season. It doesn't look like he does. No, because they're they're building up luck every year. Yeah. You better hope you don't get PE teacher leg in those sweats. What's that now? Uh, it's a rash. It's a fungal, fungal-based rash that a lot of physical education teachers get from wearing the same pair of sweatpants. We had a girl who got a rash on her legs. I says, "Get the fuck out! We don't need you with your horrible rashy legs. This show is all about legs, all about legs." And what was that? What was that dancer's name? Her name was Irene, and as far as I know, she's dead. <laughs> I don't give a crap about her. I says, "Your fault for getting a rash. Get out." Yeah. It's a tough business. Broadway is very, very, very difficult. Oh, it's really tough, yeah. Absolutely. You gotta keep your body nice. You gotta stay sweet. You gotta keep those legs real nice. I don't want any back talk. No back talk. Cue the girls. No. And blackout. I don't think <laughs> 
Do you think he? I don't think he realizes there there are no girls here at the the podcast. Yeah, I, there are no women uh, here yet. That's a real problem. I could get you a bunch of girls. Could you? Sure, I could. I could get. We got. We got. Look, here's how it works. We got. 80 girls at all times ready for the show. Oh, we only need 36 on stage at a time. That means we got all these girls in a holding pen with the other babies backstage. <laughs> and the extra camel. And the extra camel sugar. And you, they, they, they got a bucket of camel sugar <laughs> and a couple of goats. Swing he goats, admits we call the, can, the camel sugar now. Yeah, he admits we got it. Him. We, we, could we drag yeah. that out of him? Yeah, this is like a great courtroom drama. This is. We... And we got, we got you in the cross examination. <laughs> All right, look, I ca- yeah, sure. Occasionally, it's nice when things go wrong in the show, so you just can bring out the girls. <laughs> and I don't care what goes wrong. <laughs> Some do I plant things to happen in the show that are mishaps, so we can bring out the girls every once in a while. Sure, I do. I've, as a matter of fact, I've never seen that show not have a mishap in it. And well, hey, then thank you very much. That's me doing my job. Do I sometimes make sure the guy doing Santa Claus eats something that's going to make him double over in gas pains? So I can say, bring out the girls. <laughs> sure. I mean, I have i don't know. I've never really seen it, but is the show different every... Is it different year to year? A little bit. Can you talk more about gas pains? <laughs> oh, sure, yeah. <laughs> now we're in Bob's field of expertise. You know, once we, when we hire a Santa Claus, you know, I just get to know him. But really what I'm trying to do is find out his weaknesses uh-huh. so that I could, you know, uh, if he tells me how oh, I got a terrible sensitivity to gluten, I'll make sure he has some gluten. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Right before the show. So he sure. goes out there and uh, he's incapacitated and we get to bring out the girl. Bring out the girl. I'm right, I'm right here, sir. You don't need to get so close to me. 